So we're uh, leaving uh, Port Cherry in the dark and we're heading for the, the Strait of Gibraltar to go to Gibraltar today. It's going to be a long day, but 16 hours I predict, 14 to 16 hours. And then yeah, sleep in the port. Here we go, Gibraltar, here we come, Mediterranean, here we come. So in uh, this video we're uh, crossing the Strait of Gibraltar. And uh, to cross the Strait of Gibraltar, there's a few things uh, you need to uh, take into consideration. Uh, one is the wind. There's the Levante blowing uh, either uh, east or west or uh, west or east. It can be fairly strong, but uh, 25 to 30 knots. Uh, further is the uh, currents. Currents can be very strong. They're uh, generated by the tides. Uh, the Strait of Gibraltar is the only connection between the Mediterranean and the Atlantic. So um, if, the, if it's a uh, it's spring tide, it can be very strong currents, up to five knots at some spots, which uh, is as fast as our boat uh, motors. Um, uh, and, uh, and of course the orcas, which is uh, called Orca Alley. And in the uh, end of April, early May, uh, there is lots and lots and lots of orcas waiting there for the tunas to come out of the mid and starting their migration, uh, which they follow. So yeah, there's uh, lots of things. Here's a little picture of uh, Oka Alley, and the recommendations are you stick uh, to a uh, 20 meter uh, depth contour uh, uh, below that, uh, so very very close to the coast. So we chose a weather window where there was uh, no wind, a changeover from the Levante when it goes from east to west to west to east or the other way around. There's normally one or two days of uh, very little wind, so that's what we chose. And we happen to be in a, on a neap tide, so a very little tidal difference, so the currents were not that strong. Uh, so yeah, that's why we chose to uh, motor the whole way in one way. They advertise for, uh, because the orcas do do a uh, motor sailing, not to sail, but have the motor on as well. And just pass through there as quick as possible. So that was our uh, our uh, tactic. So a no wind day, motor sailing, uh, and uh, on the neap side. So yeah, another thing to take into consideration is some nets. There's four nets. Uh, one at uh, Cornell. One at Tarifa, Barbati, and one at Sahara. Uh, you need to go either inside or outside these nets, depending on the season. Uh, some, of, some of the three times in the summer, the nets are not there anymore. But uh, in our case, yes, they were, because uh, the tuna was about to migrate. So yeah, let's see how we go. It's a beauty of a sunrise today. Look at that. Whoa. Beautiful. Now we're about three hours on the way now, so uh, time to put the rod out. Beautiful conditions today, flat as a trick. A little bit less wind than I predicted, but uh, still pretty good. Nice to be out here. So the winds uh, swung to the west. We're uh, now uh, sailing over Star Wars. Uh, Port Santos, I mean, sorry. Uh, yes, on approaching uh, the Cape Trafalgar, the Trafalgar Bank. So uh, yeah, we're looking, looking where we're going to cross that. It's a very, very calm day today, so it should not be an issue at all. Let's see. And we're uh, Slowly starting to see uh, Africa in the background, on the horizon. This is uh, exciting. So that's the lighthouse of Trafalgar, Trafalgar Bank. We're gonna go across now. Which is uh, here, it's a bit of a shallow, and uh, you can see a little ice coming up. So uh, we're gonna hobble over that one. So we're uh, getting close to the Barbati net. So the net goes, uh, I don't know how far, probably a few miles into the strait. And uh, we, can, we can actually uh, accordingly can, uh, go and uh, duck through the little opening here, which is uh, very, very close to the, the harbor. So, uh, yeah. And this is the net, because out all the way over there. Yeah. And this is how close we are to the. So just a little bit of a gap just to get through. Beautiful out here. It's calm and smooth. Motor sailing along. It's got Babat behind us now, and uh, we're up to uh, Net the Sahara. Net at Sahara. So it's here. Now up to Tarifa. So we're slowly starting to see the Strait of Gibraltar. You can see uh, houses on one end, 
the big mountain on the other side is Morocco. So yes, we're uh, getting closer and closer. A few more hours to go. Yummy yeah. dinner time. That's why we're rounding the Cape of Tarifa. And we just uh, rounded Tarifa. So we're officially in the Strait of Gibraltar now. And uh, yeah, Gibraltar, here we come! Another reason why we were very excited to get to Gibraltar was to catch up with our friends from Ragdoll, who we met in Figuera de Foz uh, the previous season. Fleur had been gaming with Jesper the whole winter, and Chris set up a group of boats, getting gathering a group of boats. Uh, with kids on board, they're all planning to sail the Med, so we were eager to become part of this group. Against us now, so uh, we've got the sails out and then uh, we'll fight to get through. So we're uh, going really nice, nice day, sir. So this is Spain, Anouk, Fleur, and Morocco, and Michelle. There's Gibraltar in the background. So we just have to go around this point and then we're in the Bay of Gibraltar. Woohoo! Trying to get a spot in the marina now. We'll see what happens and else we go at anchor at La Linea. So I was uh, weaving through all the ships that were, I thought were at anchor and then in a sudden uh, this one decides to uh, start moving. So uh, <laughs> I started to and uh, yeah, so I quickly had to do a 90 degree turn. Like uh, so. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a really big emotional point, but it's actually uh, that's pretty cool, I reckon. Made it all the way here. But, uh, last year we were dreading, uh, dreading this, and now it's actually a really relaxing cruise today. So, uh, yeah, cool. Very cool. Ready for the bench. So while I was working, Michelle, the girls and Jasper went to explore Gibraltar. Yeah. Oh. 
What are we doing? This is the northern defenses in the Rock of Gibraltar. Ready? Oh. So Monkey's out of his favorite animals and she's been very, very, very much forward to seeing some real life in the wild. So this is the marina thing. This is apparently a hotel slash uh, bar. And uh, boat. That's where we were before. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you liked this episode. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment. We love reading them. Hope to see you next episode. Bye.
So we've just got a message that uh, the ragdoll, the boat we're buddy boating with, have uh, have fire on board. So we're turned around and.